the dark side of her gambling addiction. I didn't know what to do. I lied to many people. I lied to so many f so many individuals out there. Imagine getting into CSGO Lotto back in 2017 and having that spiral into a crippling gambling addiction. Well, that's what's taken place with the streamer Slicker. Ever since CSGO Lounge came out, I was, it, it was the first time I went on that site. It has come out that Slicker has taken over $300,000 from his mods, fans, friends and gamble it away this is slicker's channel here on twitch i guess he used to be popular i'm not sure if he currently is he used to do a lot of just chatting csgo among us valorant league of legends but in the last couple of days you may have heard that slicker has been scamming his friends and fans out of money twitch streamer has been accused by multiple twitch creators and viewers for borrowing hundreds of thousands of dollars going months without paying back the debts slicker allegedly scammed multiple viewers out of amounts ranging from hundreds of thousands on the promise of paying them back in two months and it's been dating back for two years basically um my bank account got locked this has happened for like three four days i've been asking around people sadly um, today, well, tomorrow is the last day um, until my credit starts getting fucked up. It got locked out, and I was looking for people that actually work and that could I and I could ask if I could borrow from, and I'll pay back. Genuinely, give me two months and I can pay back. Things started getting leaked online, such as Discord conversations that Slicker had with his mods and with fans asking them for money. This is Slicker here talking to somebody asking for 200, 300 pounds. Here's another one asking somebody else. Using the exact same excuse, my bank got temporarily locked and he's asking for 500 pounds from this 16 year old. Here are the transactions of one of his loyal viewers giving him money, dating all the way back to June 2021. 399 pounds, 188 pounds, 615 pounds. How old are you? 27. Do you work? I quit my job recently. And then asking them for money. It's a pattern of bad behavior that he's had because he has a gambling addiction. My bank account got locked. Temporary locked. Don't have access to my money, sadly. Yeah, I've got a sponsorship I'm doing. They're going to pay me in 30 days. So next month I can pay you back. If that's possible, you're a fucking legend. If it's not possible, you're still a fucking legend. <laughs> this is one of the biggest stories and scams that I've seen that's happened out of Twitch. It's like a Ponzi scheme. He's borrowing money from one person and paying the next person back. And he did it multiple times with multiple streamers. I was on Twitter today and people like Sweet Anita said, yes, he targeted me too. And this is how I avoided getting scammed. It's kind of lucky that my family tried to do this with me when I grew on Twitch. Sends a video just like before. Oh, here he says his bank got hacked. It's always the same bank story and he needs about 1.5k up front. Oompaville said, thought I was helping out a friend not getting scammed by a scammer. Bro, can I ask for a quick favor? Sure. My PayPal got banned permanently. Hey, I'm B, same thing. I evaded Slicker with this scam. Shows I'm a bad friend. I feel sick. I've been taken advantage of like this. Thing with my bank, uh, they locked it, but it's, it shouldn't be for long. It should be for like a week or something. Yeah, it's kind of awkward. Basically, I have no access to my account. I've asked a few people, very few, because I'm not... These are voice notes that he sent her asking for money. This is reminding me of the Tinder swindler. How he's borrowing money from certain people, going on lavish vacations, and then borrowing money from someone else to pay off those vacations. Slicker scammed a cancer patient. This was posted a couple hours ago. I have multi-connective tissue disorder, which is lupus, MS, uh, Crohn's disease... Uh, EDS, lots of autoimmune. Um, so that's what the chemo is used for. <laughs> Did Slicker pay you back? No. No. How much? How much does he owe you? I have seven k, I think. Um, I, it's not the money that I wanted to ask about. Mm -hmm. So you're my <laughs> friend, bro. And before I was going for my transplant, knowing you're not going to pay me. You're asking for my money that I put together to save my life. And you had no intention, even though I've already given you money. You never paid that part, and then you asked for another 10k. Currently, XQC and Ludwig said that they're working together to try and make money so they can give it back to the victims of Slicker's Ponzi scheme. We are aware about this Slicker situation and the victims who were scammed out of their hard-earned money. Heartbreaking. Me and Ludwig will be trying our best to get money back to these people. Slicker made a couple videos today and yesterday. I'd be like, bro, I'm in a situation. He would even, he gave me like $150,000. 
no sorry not 150 hundred thousand dollars and i know people are going to be like the people i owe you're going to be like what i have borrowed in a month i had to pay fifty thousand in a month i would have to pay someone fifty thousand and uh but train wrecks i would message him he borrowed a hundred thousand dollars from train wrecks you can see how deep this situation goes it's it's actually quite upsetting if you haven't heard um i i i borrowed money off people this was two days ago him admitting that he has been borrowing money from people and gambling it away i used to gamble a lot of my money uh basically all my twitch money I and then even them times I wouldn't even have them. I'm, I would come across streamers and ask them if I could borrow money. And obviously they I I wouldn't give them the reason. Obviously because it was gambling, I would lie to them. My initial thoughts was I I will be paying them back. I have I want I do want to say I my. I never intended in scamming anyone, and I will still pay off the people I owe. I don't give a fuck if I whether I reach ninety. He posted something eight hours ago. I wonder what this is. I don't know how to appreciate XQC and Lud. They, they're paying off everyone I owe, and that's all I've ever wanted. Oh, he's thanking Ludwig and XQC for paying off his debts. This is why gambling is such a dangerous thing to be advertising to young children on Twitch. On the Twitch homepage, we still have virtual casinos. I'm pretty sure there's, there's a slots category. That Poker is a reason why you need to be 18 years old or up to gamble. But here, we're just displaying it for free. Oh, look, NFT giveaway. You can make millions. This is ridiculous. They shouldn't be advertising gambling to children. Just like Slicker said, it started with him on Counter-Strike Go, CSGO Lotto. And that he started using his real money after that. And that spiraled out of control into a crazy addiction where he owes now over $300,000. Why would you give 2K to somebody? Look at the replies. I got scammed for 400. I got scammed for 15K. No way. This is not a troll. I'm serious. I've gotten scammed for $700. I lost 1K. I got scammed out of 600. Over the last year, I have sent Slick a $30,000 and I've gotten none of it back. I lost 27,000 um, from giving a, a lend to uh, Slicker. Don't lend your friends money.